What is up YouTube? My name is Rashad Williams from 212 Exotics. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a little background information, plus showing you some of my ball pythons. Let's go. What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in. My name is Rashad Williams again with 212 Exotics. And first off, I just wanna give a big shout out to Precious Robbins at Precious Pythons. Um, you can check her out on Facebook and you can check her out on Instagram at Precious Pythons. Um, so basically today's video, I want to give you a little background on who I am, where I'm from and how I got started in the hobby. So again, my name is Rashad Williams. I am from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I've been obsessed with reptiles for ugh, probably about 15 to 20 years. Um, I am 30 years old, so that lets you know how long I've been interested in ball pythons and other reptiles. So um, I got my first snake back in 2010. Uh, it was one of those things where my mom was like, yeah, you can get whatever you want when you get out of my house. So um, as soon as I got out of her house, uh, the first thing I got was a ball python. I mean, I didn't even have furniture in my apartment, but I had a ball python in the tank. Um, so that's pretty much me. I've been keeping since 2010 and uh, pushed into breeding around 2013. Uh, but of course, life happens to some people. So um, I had to get rid of all of my animals and I am just now getting back into the hobby. I've been back in the hobby for about two years now and I've been keeping snakes. As of right now, I have 20, I have 23, I believe, or 24. And today I'm just going to show you all of my male ball pythons. So let's jump right into it. So the first male I'm going to show you is my banana pied. Um, I've had him since he was a hatchling. I believe he was, I think, 80 grams. And now he's about 800 grams. Uh, he hasn't started breeding yet um, because my pied girl has been off food. So... I don't want to uh, attempt to breed her without her being or without her having the right body conditions. Um, but this is my banana pied. Uh, he was produced by Deborah Stewart from Stewart Reptiles. She is an Atlanta breeder. Um, she's very nice. Uh, you can check her Instagram out at Stewart Reptiles. Uh, but yep, that's my banana pied. This guy right here is my pastel clown. I got him from uh, Derek West over at Left Side Reptiles, which is uh, also an Atlanta-based breeder. They're up in Canton, Georgia. And um, this guy has been doing some uh, amazing work this year. Um, he's been only breeding one female, but since the day I put him in the tub, he's been locking like within an hour. Um, but this is my pastel clown <laughs> and um, as you can see he's beautiful nice markings um, try to get his head doesn't want to focus but anyway um, this guy's really been putting in some work I am pretty much happy for him and uh, if you guys got a sticker from me you know that this is the ball python that's on my sticker so this is my pastel clown male so this right here is my super fire male um, super fire also known as black eyed leucistic um, this guy is also produced by Derek West over at left side reptiles um, he's also been putting in work he's locked with two of my females this year and he has no issues at all locking so um, Got a little coconut in them and stuff. But anyway, uh, this is my super fire or black eyed loose cystic. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you can kind of see those yellow splotches on his back. I don't know, the light might be too bright, but I wanted to make sure I had good lighting for this video. But anyway, uh, he's been locking up, he's been doing pretty good. This is my black eyed leucistic or super fire. This guy right here is my banana pinstripe. Um, you can kind of see the banana and the pinstripe in them. Um, 
he is not breeding for me yet. He is actually a pet. Um, and he actually belongs to my fiance and soon to be wife in about 20 days. I get married in 20 days, guys. Um, 21 days. Wait, today's the first? No, 20 days. We get married on March 21st. But um, this is a pet. His name is Mowgli. If you guys know the reference, Mowgli, Jungle Book. But um, originally when we got this guy, um, we thought and it was sold to us as a female, um, which is one of the main reasons why I wanted to buy it. Uh, because if anybody knows um, about bananas, they know that most of them are male. And so with this being sold to us as a female, um, we originally named him Sophia and Sophia is a female name. But ever since uh, we found out he was a male and uh, he couldn't go by Sophia anymore, we gave him the nickname Safi. And <laughs> but his real true name is Mowgli. But uh, hopefully soon we can probably figure out how to possibly throw him in our breeding plans. Um, otherwise, he will be just a pet and will never be leaving. So the banana pinstripe, guys. So this right here is my banana GHI. And um, you can kind of see he does have a little paradoxing. I'll try to find it for you. Like a little small spot right there. Uh, if the camera will focus, there it is. A little small spot there. And he had another spot. I don't know. Oh, here it is. Back here by his tail. But anyway, this is our banana GHI. Um, this guy was produced by Full Throttle Reptiles, who is out of... Tennessee, I'm not quite sure where in Tennessee, but uh, Alyssa Leonard, who is a phenomenal person. I also, uh, you can also look her up, Full Thought of Reptiles, on Facebook and Instagram. Um, this guy is in our breeding plans this year. He has, he's currently locking with two females, two of my females, he's currently locking with, and he's been doing a great job. He's eating well, he's doing fantastic. So, um, hopefully we can produce some really nice combos with this guy. All right. This right here is my banana clown. Fit of focus. There it is. Sort of, kind of. Yep, yeah, there he is. It's my banana clown. Um, this guy's still little. He's every bit of 200 grams. Um, I got him from... I don't remember. Oh, no, Miles Ferguson. Um, I don't remember what city and state he's out of or the name of his company. You joking, are you for real? Oops. Um, but this is uh, one of my favorite clown combos, which is a banana clown. Um, I am looking to produce some things with him in the future. Um, he is, like I said, one of my favorites. Hopefully, um, he's a phenomenal eater um so hopefully uh, in about a year or so he'd be to size to where he can start uh working the ladies hopefully uh by the end of this year by the end of 2020 he'd start for the 2021 breeding season but yeah as you can see i'm got to put him back before he uh blows he's definitely has sausage but so <laughs> but yeah this is my banana clown and focus 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 there it is and i'm gonna put him up and grab another one this little guy right here is my hypo fire head clown. Um, I got this guy from James Ross Reptiles or Ross Reptiles, who is also a breeder out of Atlanta. Um, he doesn't really have a social media page. He doesn't have social media or does he have a um, Facebook, but he's easy to get in contact with. Found him on Morph Market ever since then. Uh, he's He's been real, been a real good guy and a real good uh, friend to keep in the uh, reptile hobby. But this guy is a hypo fire head clown. Um, this was my way to break into hypo and clown at the same time. Um, I do have a female who I'll show you in the next video who is my clown head hypo. So um, hopefully those two will 
uh, get together in a little while and make me some nice hypo clowns. Um, but this is also one of my favorite males. Um, I do love the hypo gene. This is the only snake that I have with hypo in it at the moment, but I'm assuming after uh, the breeding season happens, I'll have some more money and I'll be able to buy more snakes uh, <laughs> and get what I want. But yep, that's, that's that guy, hypo fire. All right, and the last male that I have is this guy. Um, this guy is a yellow belly het pied. Um, he's in shed, so I don't want to bother him too much. Um, he's also uh, an a-ho. Um, this guy came from DB Exotic Morphs, a uh, guy, Darius Britt. He is on Facebook and Instagram. You can check him out, um, and you'll probably see his shirt in the next video. Um, but this guy is an absolute killer. Uh, he's mean, and I've been bitten by him at least three times maybe but like i said he isn't shit but you can just see that belly that beautiful beautiful belly but yep he is head pot um 100 head pot so uh hopefully this guy will go well in my pot projects um i have none currently going this year but hopefully for the 2021 season i'll have quite a few pot projects going on but uh this is my last male yellow belly head pot all right, guys, that's all I have for today. I will be having another video next week where I will be showing you all of my females. Um, in the meantime, I do want to give a couple of shout outs to Gershon Porter at GP Snakes. Another big shout out to uh, Mr. Jakendal Joyner at Sick Witted Ball Pythons, uh, Mr. Reggie Johnson at Reggie's Urban Jungle. Um, a lot of people who really motivated me to get back in the YouTube game because uh, I did start a YouTube channel before, but it was not based around reptiles. However, uh, this way I get to do what I love, which is video and photography, and I get to talk about another passion of mine, which is reptiles. So I want to give a huge shout out to those guys for uh, helping me and motivating me to get back into the YouTube scene. Um, that's it for this week, guys. Uh, like this video, comment on this video. Please subscribe to this channel. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and you can follow me on Facebook at 212 Exotics. I will link those things in the description. I uh, hope you guys have a blessed one. See you next time.